But let's pause that there. Um, that's when the shot was taken. Any debate or doubt whether Richarlison was in an offside position at that moment? No. no. Not in offside position, but not committing an offence at that moment. OK. Are you sure? Because uh, let's have a look at Mendy here. And I want you to look at his right knee, because yeah. it's, it's bent that way, which means his weight is on his left foot. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Just bear that in mind. He's, he's trying... What he's trying to do there is look round Richarlison to see where the shot was made. Yeah. So is that interfering with play? The logic here, Rob, is the VAR who checks it has to decide, is he impacting on the goalkeeper? Now, you think yes, I think possibly, they think no. Um, their logic is the ball comes a long way, he's a long way from the goalkeeper. It also takes a nick off Koulibaly. So there's a number of factors that factored in. The VAR felt that the goal stood. Uh, that, that's the logic. I, I can understand how they've risen at that decision. I can understand you not being happy about it. Oh, it doesn't matter what I think. Um, <laughs> does it? I mean, it, it, it is. Is, is Richarlison, Stephen, is Richarlison impacting there from an offside position? For me, yes, because he's, he's, in, he's in the vicinity of the goal. Um, in and around the eye line of Mendy. I, I agree with you, Rob. I think he's leaning to the left to, to see round. Um, the one that interests me is, is the distance from goal. Now, this isn't children's football who, who would struggle to kick a ball that distance. And I'm talking like 10-year-old kids, 8 to 10 years old. This is the Premier League, the elite league in the world, who strike the ball cleanly and strike the ball at a speed where... If you are sh slightly offset because you're having to read where the ball, read where the player is, and read where the ball is, you've got to be able to set yourself again. Such is the speed of the shot that can come in, and that's the big thing for me. So for me, it, it, Richarlison is actively. He's, I know they say he's inactive. He isn't. He's on the football pitch. This is the, still the rule that drives me insane. He's in and around the penalty penalty area in the vicinity of the goal. So for me, it's offside. Upside, so. Yeah, I agree. Uh, be, I think when you see that angle from behind the goal, that's where you can see Mendy has to take that little stance there to have a look round Richarlison, which then impacts him being able to get across to make the save. So, yeah, I, I have to agree with that. I didn't think it was a foul on Jorginho. We looked to see if Richarlison was offside. He was, and he is in Mendy's eye line. So, yeah, I can imagine that Chelsea would feel very hard done to there. OK. Should that shot have even come in? Was there a foul on Kai Havertz? way before there. Too far was it for VAR to go back and check? Definitely. Um, you, you see this. Um, you see, what's the, re the referee's the clue here. There's the tackle. If you, see, you can't see the referee in the picture, but the referee actually points straight at the ball and says quite clearly he's got the ball. He, he does play the ball, but he takes the man as well. Yeah. I think that's the referee's choice. You know, you have to accept. You see that kind of incident on a football field nearly every game. And the referee decides it's a foul or not. He, he said no. He quite clearly says no. That game goes on 44 seconds. You know, you're never, ever going to... We talked about one last week, 17 seconds. You're never going to go back that far. So, again, we talk about a consequence rather than the incident itself. Mm. Let's talk about the incident and the consequence of the Kukureya hair pull, shall we? Um, right, let's have a little look at this. So, is there any doubt in your mind that Romero pulls his hair? No. OK. Let's have a look here at, at Anthony Taylor, because as the ball comes across here, he, uh, he seems to... His head seems to go down here to look at the incident, doesn't it? I wonder if that's a reaction, though, Rob, because it's already happened. You know, so instinctively okay. he thinks something's happened, but he hasn't seen it. I actually think so if you look... He doesn't see it, but should VAR have seen it? And yeah. should there have been a red card? Should there have been a, a free kick given to Chelsea? And therefore the equalising goal shouldn't have stood because it came from the resulting corner. Right. <laughs> right. I, I think the VAR should intervene. I'm not sure the referee sees it. I think he looks down, but I think he looks down instinctively. I think he's actually watching the flight of the ball. He's watching where the ball's going, where he thinks it's going to land on the dropping zone. He does look down, but I think it's, it's already happened, so he can't judge what, what's happened. 
The VAR, I think, has the perfect look because when we saw the replay yesterday, as soon as I saw it, I actually said to the guy next to me, I said, I think he's going to get a red card here. He said, really? So he's, he's pulled him down by the hair. I, I anticipated the VAR sending Anthony to the screen. I know for a fact if Anthony had gone to the screen, it would have been a red card and a free kick to Chelsea. Red card, quite clearly for me. Um, very surprised, like Dermot says there, about what happened. I think it was Cristiano Ronaldo got sent off on his debut for Juventus in the Champions League, did the same thing, pulled the hair, um, got sent off in the game. I, I was, again, very, very surprised that VAR haven't intervened and, and done their job there. Have to agree. I think you look at Anthony Taylor's position, it's a very good position. You think, OK, well, if he has missed it, like Dermot said, if he's looked down, VAR have to intervene there because you can't pull somebody down with the hair like that and, and get away with it. So I was really surprised that that, that wasn't overturned, that decision. And no retrospective because VAR have looked at it. Is, is that the way it still stands? Well, the difficulty is, Rob, with VAR that the retrospective punishment was for an unseen offence uh, by any of the match officials. Well, it's impossible to say that hasn't been seen by the match officials because they've looked at it. So I think that, that's difficult. Whether there's another way around it, I don't know. But as it's set up, I, I can't see that anything will change. So a mistake? For me, it's a red card. Costly, though.